Today we'll be flying through lesson 15, max 7219 LED dot matrix module. Now that's a, that's a lot of fancy wording. In this lesson, we'll be needing the Elego Mega 2560 R3, the max 7219 module, and five F to M wires. Let's dive in. So the lesson plan starts by giving a brief overview and objective, which is more or less to connect the max 7219 module to our Mega 2560 and scroll text across that module. The lesson plan also introduces our new component, which is the MAC 7219. It's essentially a eight x eight LED matrix. They then go on to rack the brain by putting a bunch of big words in a linear fashion to try and form a sentence. And they go, the MAC 7219 IC is a serial input alpha common cathode display driver that interfaces with microprocessor, blah, blah, blah. All that bullshit out of the way, the Arduino uses a serial interface with the 8x8 eight eight LED matrix to command it. We then move on to the wiring diagram, which has us utilize the D10 PWM, D11 PWM, D12 PWM, the 5 volt pin connector, and the ground pin connector. The D10 will connect to the CLK pin, which is short for clock pin. The D11 PWM will connect to the CS pin, or the chip select, and the D12 PWM will connect to the DIN pin, which is short for data in, uh, which carries video data. And the 5 volt connects to voltage, and the ground connects to ground. The code is a little lengthy here, but it is very well explained by whoever created it, which is a first for almost any of these lessons. I'll briefly go over it. We first include the ledcontrol.h library. To do that, we go to sketch, include a library, add .zip library. We go ahead, we find our um, master folder, elego muscular starter kit. We cycle through until we find our lesson plan and we select LED control right over here. And we click open and we continue. The creator leaves a pretty fruitful comment after that. And this is why I I love this entire set of code. Almost everything has a command to explain what's going on, which is really, really nice. Uh, this one kind of explains that the LED control sets pin 12, 11, and 10 as controlled variables. And because we only have one max 7219, we see this value of one. The code creator then sets up two delays in time. One that's 500 milliseconds, the other one that's 50 milliseconds and we'll be able to get more insight onto delay time one and delay time two below um, as they set up delay times for each time the characters are uh, shown across screen. At the start of Void Setup, the lesson creator states as a comment that the MAX 7219 is in a power saving mode on startup and to perform a wake-up call. The wake-up call includes the following, which is the 1C dot shutdown, 1C dot set intensity and 1C dot clear display. And he sets a comment to explain which each of them does. The next set of code will set up the 8x8 LED matrix to display Arduino on screen. Uh, this is super confusing. It's gonna take me a while to understand what he's exactly doing in this, but he does leave a couple of nice comments at least to explain what's going on for the most part. This set of code calls for each character to be written separately each with a delay time of one and the delay time of one as we saw previously is a 500 millisecond delay and then these three next set of code uh, has each row slowly light up with leds and then once all of them are filled the arduino character sequence would begin all right with that out of the way let's build it <laughs> 